What's up, guys? It's your boy Zawoki back out with another scary, terrifying, and creepy video from Scary Comp. We're about to watch his newest videos of 10 scariest videos on the internet, Scary Compilation Volume 115. We're going to get ready, grab a chair, grab some popcorn, your extra pair of pants, and let's get into the scary video. If you guys are new to my channel, if you guys are returning and have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe right now by hitting that white bar icon down at the bottom right. Hit that bell icon next to it. So when I do post videos like this one, you guys will get that little ring notification that I've posted that video. And then you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, thank you guys so very much for the continued love and support that you guys show on this channel every single day. We are just coming up to 59,000 subscribers. And it's all because of you guys. I can't thank you guys enough. Keep doing what you guys are doing, and we'll continue to keep growing. Speaking of support, though, go over to Scary Comp. Link is in the description. Make sure you go over there to their channel. Give them some love. Do the thing. Subscribe, comment, like, and share. For them to put this together for us to enjoy and get scared and lose ourselves in terror it can take a lot of work and a lot of effort. We want to give thanks back to them. Without further ado, and with that being said, let's get into some scary content. A man named Zark was forced to move houses due to severe paranormal activity affecting his previous home. Unfortunately, this change did not resolve the issue, and he continues to experience paranormal disturbances to this day. Uh -oh. The situation has deteriorated so badly that he had to send his wife and son to stay with relatives, leaving him alone in the house to try to resolve the problem. Overwhelmed by loneliness and stress, the situation is taking a toll on his mental health. But he has no choice but to confront the entity his son referred to as Jerry. Jerry. One night, around 2.40 a.m., he is disturbed by eerie noises and starts recording, documenting the unsettling events. Watch closely. Okay. <sighs> the fuck? Excuse the French. Has the cupboard open? The lights are off. I'm already getting chills. You see, I I normally keep that light on because that's how I get to know the haunting has begun or not, and that's why I've actually covered the lights so that it doesn't glare on my eyes while I'm sleeping. And the cupboard is open right now. I'm alone in the room. Are those eyes? No, that's not eyes. It's at the door. Is it doing this? Stop it! Stop it, please. Does he ever get up and look at it? Daddy? Go fuck yourself, Jerry. Go e fuck yourself. Excuse the French. Shit. Oh, I'm not gonna stay here. Fuck. can be seen through the gap I thought in the that's door, what it was. and something begins to mimic his son's voice. After a rude response, objects start flying out of the closet. Terrified and unwilling to stay any longer, Zark decides to leave and spend the rest of the night locked in his car. Morgan Lambert runs a TikTok account focused on all things eerie, including Ooh. scary stories, urban legends, and her own personal experiences with the paranormal. Uh -huh. One night, while she was at home with her husband, they were alone in the house when, around 10 p.m., 
they began to hear strange noises coming from downstairs. Startled, they feared someone might have broken in. Acting quickly, Morgan decided to check her security camera, but she was unprepared for what she saw. Uh -oh. Uh, isn't this like somebody else that is mimicking her significant other? If I saw that on my camera, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Protecting my house, man. I think they come down after this and then they're like, uh, who was that? It looks like the same person. Like a skinwalker. The only thing I noticed too, if you look over here, there's an upside down cross. And I'm not gonna say anything bad but an upside down cross is the sign of the devil so maybe i could be wrong maybe i'm just looking at it and with bad eyes because my eyes seem to play tricks on me sometimes um but am, i'm seeing an upside down cross over there right but it looks like him like if if he was in the corner just throwing that out there I don't know why they're looking over there when the, the person went right, not left. As Morgan scanned still. the room, she saw a frightening outline of a man standing with his back to the camera, with only one pale arm clearly visible. She zoomed in to get a better view when the figure chills. suddenly darted <laughs> to the right, disappearing from sight. When she zoomed back out, the living room was empty, with no sign of anyone. Moments later, Morgan and her husband rushed downstairs to investigate. They checked several rooms, and her husband even grabbed a bat for protection. Say, I According to Morgan, this wasn't the first time they had encountered an unexplained figure. Now, they're left questioning whether this was truly something paranormal or if they need to change their locks. Like an intruder? A nurse at a hospital decides to enter a room that many doctors and nurses avoid. This room is on a floor rumored to be haunted. While it's unclear if the rumors are true, recent events suggest something unusual might be happening on this floor. On March 9th, 2021, nurse Sheen Richardson visits this floor. There is a hidden room on this floor that has been blocked off. One night, Sheen manages to gain access to it by asking a custodian to unlock the door. Unbeknownst to her, this decision would lead to unsettling consequences. By the okay. following is the video of her experience. So everybody wants to see what's behind the door, so I'm back and I'm going to show you what's finally behind this door, okay? Alright, so one more time, this is everything that's wrote on the door, behind this door in this hospital, and it's been a month, so I'm going to go inside. Dude, I'm so scared, I don't even want to open it. Um, so far it just looks like an abandoned, dirty closet. And <laughs> it happens quickly, so if you missed it, here it is again. Like some thing on the top of the... It literally says, do not open, and she opens it. So far it just looks like an abandoned, dirty closet. And <laughs> it now makes sense why she instinctively shut the door. She I can't had tell if it moves. upon seeing what appeared to be a face staring at her from a distance with its disembodied head seemingly remaining motionless. Oh, that's what they're... However, oh, oh, some viewers oh. claim that the head can be seen moving slightly. She wasn't entirely sure I never even what saw she the had head seen until now. at the time, but it triggered an urgent need to leave the area immediately. It was only after watching the video that she realized what had happened. Little is known about the incident, 
or what occurred afterward. So alone. until further updates are available, the situation remains a mystery. This video, recorded by an adventurous explorer, reveals that caves are not merely filled with jagged rocks and moments of panic. There is the much descent? more lurking underground than one might want to know. What is that? I saw the face. After hearing strange noises coming from beneath the rocks, they decided to investigate. That's when they noticed a disturbing head with glazed black eyes and an appearance reminiscent of stereotypical aliens staring directly into the camera. Unfortunately, the video is too brief to provide a clear view of what it was, Gross. but it does reveal some <sighs> unsettling features. While it's understandable that they might have fled, it's always suspicious that footage with potential to be significant paranormal evidence often cuts off prematurely. Could it be a real alien caught on camera? In the rocks? Or perhaps someone in a costume? If this were on TikTok, it would likely be labeled a skinwalker. Maybe even one taking up caving as a hobby. That would certainly be intriguing. A few years ago, a man named Marvin uploaded a video to YouTube titled Ghost Caught on Xbox One Connect. After knowing about the night vision mode on his Xbox, he decided to create a video demonstrating it. Everything was looking fine until he reviewed the footage later that he noticed something unsettling. Hey, you guys. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys a pretty quick feature. I missed the, the Connect. One and it's Connect. It actually has a pretty cool night vision that I just uh, found today. And if you guys already know it has night vision, then I'm going to show the people who don't know. So right now it's completely dark in this house right now. All you can basically see is my Xbox One controller. Now I'm going to switch on the... Night vision for you guys. I thought it was kind of cool. It, just, it lights but up. But look at this room. thing. It's a pretty cool feature. Um, I, they, I don't know if they have an app for this or whatnot, but uh, they also have this uh, version of the camera. I've, I don't know what it is. They say that this is thermal, but it's not thermal. But it just, when I saw that over there, I never wanted to touch my Xbox again. I think it's either infrared or something like that. And then uh, back to the dark. You can see all you can see is my Xbox controller, and then back to night vision. And then the figure's Tashi, gone. You know, pretty cool feature for the Xbox Connect that I haven't Healing. really heard of until now. Maybe they have an app for it or something like that. He literally caught yeah, something by watching. accident. After turning on the night vision mode in his Xbox, something becomes visible moving behind him. It looks like it's getting a snack from the refrigerator, and it goes, "Oop." And it's gone. A tall, Look. dark shadow appears to rise up the wall, seemingly gone. materializing out of thin air and then floating towards the ceiling. At the time, Marvin had no idea what was behind him. Gross. Though, he was aware that strange occurrences sometimes happened in his home. A few months later, this activity persisted, and Marvin was able to capture it on camera once again. I think the Lord I didn't have any toys like this. Fuck. Excuse the French. What is that shit? This fucking shit ain't funny anymore, man. Those creep, those toys were creepy. Even if your house wasn't haunted, it still was creepy. She ain't funny, man.
Amen. Okay. Trying to see if his roommate's home. Comes back. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, the fuck? In the middle of the night, one of his niece's toys activated on its own. He searched the house to find the source of the disturbance. Nothing. But while walking through the hall, a loud bang drew his attention. <coughs> Turning to the dining room, he saw the light above the table swinging back and forth. This unusual sight was enough to make him flee the house. Although he hadn't posted in 10 years, he recently shared a brief update to let Ooh. everyone know that he has since moved out of that house. What? A mother named Susan received a troubling comment from her two-year-old daughter, who said someone was hiding in her closet. Oh, gosh. Worried for her child's safety, Susan immediately went to check the closet. My daughter has informed me that there is a person in her closet that keeps smiling at her. Let's go see. Burn the house down. Oh, poor little girl. Open it. That's a person. There's a person? Yeah. Can you show me where the person is? Right here. Right here. Right here. Is it, is it Elsa? No. No. No? I'm scared. You're scared? Yeah. Okay. Is there, can you show me where the person is? Uh, is it a, is it a, is it a kid person or a grown-up person? Grown-up person. It's a grown-up person? I feel so bad for you. You want to wear your Elmo costume? Yeah. Okay. There's a grown up person in your closet? Yeah. And it's right there? Yeah. It's my closet. It's your closet. Say, go away, person. <laughs> I'm scared. You're scared? Yeah. I mean, kids see things that we can't, but. Okay, well, we'll get rid of the person. The young I've been girl doing the same is thing. visibly terrified by something she believes is inside her closet. She is adamant that someone is in there. In a follow-up video, she removes all items that could resemble a person or cast shadows. But she still insists that there is something in the closet. Um, as for the woman on the box, uh, I didn't see it at first Elsa? because, well, before I record, the first time she came in and told me that, um, I asked her if it was Elsa on the box, and she said, no, not the box. And she specified to the space next to the box. So I didn't think it was, and I didn't know what people were talking about. Then I saw it. Um, there is like a woman-shaped thing on the box, which is very strange. Um, so I take the box out. I took all the clothes out of that in case that was like causing a shadow or something. So I took all the clothes out of the back of that closet. I took the box out, um, and she still saw the person. Oops, someone's at my door. She still saw the person. She said that they're still there and they're still smiling at her. What did the girls actually see? Cases like this are not uncommon and often... I would give a crayon to my kid and s tell me to draw what it looks like. Parents don't believe their child until they see the evidence themselves. Although nothing was visible in the closet, Susan chose to lock it to reassure her daughter. Good idea. And since then... Her daughter has not been frightened. TikTok user, Good. known as the Unknown RGV, explains that he and a friend were advised by many people to use the random Naka app for a video idea. Don't for use those it. unfamiliar, <laughs> the random Naka app allows users to explore their local area by generating random coordinates. The That's app's creepy. developers claim it attracts unusual occurrences and lets users select locations based on specific themes. When they tried the app for the first time, they were directed to a random location in McCain, Texas. Upon arrival, they found themselves in a field about 20 minutes away from where they expected to be. Despite reaching a dead end, they continued exploring. Can't you just then, play some video unexpectedly, games, dude? they saw something in the distance that startled them. Check it out for yourself. Okay. The road area, maybe we'll see them. Oh, shit, what the fuck? Oh, there's someone running? Excuse no. the French. Oh, this. 
just miraculously somebody's just running through the distance. What, the fuck? what is that though? What is that? Why is someone running? Watch your profanity. No, lower it down, lower it down. You're dumb as fuck and I can lower my fucking so, window. So you can stop. <laughs> Dude, nah, fuck that, bro. When I did the Raymond in the car, man. I found a little sock. Just wrote, dude, that's just too fast, though. There was fa it's fast I don't know what that means, yes. but it was creepy. Suddenly, a mysterious figure appears running through complete darkness, seemingly emerging out of nowhere before disappearing into thin air. Witnessing this in person must have been incredibly frightening especially late at night in a creepy, isolated area. When they should be at in home. In a follow-up video, the uploader shows the exact location where the figure was seen running to give viewers a clearer understanding of the surroundings depicted in the first video. We're back at the place, the three mil video place right here. All right, guys, this is where we saw the... Figure. ass person running or whatever the fuck it was, figure running and shit. What's the profanity? Skinwalker, the skinwalker, the legal. What is that? That better not be Mexico, bro, honestly. It's not Mexico. <laughs> How the fuck is that going to be Mexico, Devin? I don't fucking know. It may be Mexico, fam. Ready or not? Let's go. Fuck it. How did a person run so fast here? Why was he... We may never know, or was it something we couldn't explain? It's Mexico, nigga. That's where the figure was running, whatever was running. What the fuck? I mean, it's not there? hard this to run. That's where it was running. Ain't no way, dog. What? I mean, it's flat. I. This is where it was running the whole fucking path. It could have been a jogger. Nah, dude, that, there's no way. <laughs> Could what have been? would you do if you saw someone running in complete darkness in the middle of the night? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Have I turned around and gone the other October way? On <laughs> 2021, a Reddit user named Bartonol posted a video on the Ghost subreddit, providing some context. He explained that his cat had been knocking things over during the night, prompting him to set up a surveillance camera to monitor the activity. He was surprised by the cat's behavior as it is usually quiet and inactive during the day. Cat? Upon reviewing the footage the next day, he was completely baffled by what he saw. What? I see an awesome Joker poster. <gasps> so the plants are moving. Oh, there's a kitty. We thought we were on the table sniffing the decorations, but he was on the sofa. Oh, he's right there. The towel. One o'clock in the morning, almost two. Things are moving on the counter. Where'd the cat go? Oh. The only thing is the cat keeps looking down here. He gets up. Son of a biscuit. You're like stupid cat. In the video, the cat moves about the house as usual when some very strange events start happening throughout the night. This includes sudden loud noises from the kitchen, objects floating, and items falling to the floor, even though no one was in the room during the recording. Cat wasn't even next Later, to it. the homeowner wakes up due to the loud noises, 
and initially believes the cat is responsible. However, after reviewing the footage, he realizes that his pet wasn't behind any of these disturbances. Now you go apologize to that what cat. What could have caused these events? The most plausible explanation might be the presence of some unseen entity moving around the house and knocking case. things over for unknown reasons. Regardless, this footage is certainly unsettling and will give you chills. Yeah. A Reddit user known as Bored Geek, 1996, who filmed something intriguing in the middle of the night in Honolulu, Hawaii. In the footage, Yippo? the user is seen recording something high in the sky that captivates him. Initially, it might be challenging to discern what has caught his attention, but within a few seconds, it becomes clear. Okay. It's easy to understand why he is so amazed. Take a look. Look up, look up, look up, bro, in the sky. No, look, look up, look up, bro. Holy shit. What's the profanity? Boys, you know what I'm sure that that fucking is a big dog. Could be asteroids, oh, like little meteors coming down. Oh. Kind of looks like meteors. Oh. I really can't tell what it is. It kind of looks like, you know, like meteors would come into the atmosphere, but then you don't see any contrails at all. A series of unusual lights have been observed floating in the I sky don't above know what Honolulu, it is. leaving those on the ground both astonished and puzzled. Many people are inclined to think that this footage provides evidence of aliens or UFOs, which seems like a plausible explanation after watching the video. However, I'm interested in hearing your thoughts. Do you believe this could be something other than a UFO? What do you believe? If you have any alternative theories, please share them in the comments below. Given the vastness and mystery of our world, there could be many explanations. Exploring reportedly haunted locations is the focus of the YouTuber known as the Bearded Explorer. This time, his investigations lead him to an old haunted hospital. The building was originally constructed in 1882 as a hospital for children recovering from infectious diseases. In 1920, an orthopedic hospital acquired the property for its use. Later, the trustees funded the construction of a convalescent home on the premises. About 40 years after that, the kitchen and domestic offices of the ward were converted for research by the scoliosis unit of the institute. The property was mysteriously closed down after a report claimed that the health authority refused to cover the cost of repairing an ambulance's rear axle. Today, it serves as a tourist attraction for paranormal enthusiasts. The bearded explorer revisits the site after having previously visited with others to investigate whether the urban legends about the location are true. Oh During the earlier Firse, they encountered a transparent, human-like figure in the hallway, which terrified them. Where? After weeks of reflecting on the experience and the footage captured that night, he decided to return alone to confirm the findings. Oh boy. Despite his mental preparation and bravery, nothing could have fully prepared him for what he would encounter. Take a look. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to tonight's special Halloween video. So tonight I have come back to the hospital where I caught something on camera. I'm not going to say whether it was a ghost, I don't know what it was. But tonight I am here on my own, as you can see in the pitch black. I love his accent. We're going to take a walk around this hospital. It's going to be absolutely terrifying. So let's but go. I'm going in by myself. <laughs> and see what happens. After navigating through the bushes and bypassing the indifferent security, who doesn't seem concerned about who enters the building, he finally makes it into the apartment and immediately feels a noticeable drop in temperature. That was really creepy. It felt like I bumped into someone, but there's no one there. Oh, why is it so cold? What does that say? Over approximately 70x better. 
Well, it's pretty cold because you can see his... And look. <sighs> Come right. outside and it's... <sighs> There's hardly anything, but... Literally, I step into this room here. Cold temps. The, the temperature change from there to here is... There's a bit, but there's nothing compared to what it's like in there. That, that is really strange. It's like a sudden drop in temperature often indicates the presence of a supernatural entity, and that belief has some merit. Observe what happens next. Do I want to? Look at all the paint chip and falling off. What the hell was that? What the hell is what? I'm sure I heard some. I don't know. It's probably just the wind. <sighs> That's what you want to believe. I mean, it is a little bit windy out here today, but it's not. What was that? Okay, th this is the worst part for me. You might have missed it. Don't worry, it's quite subtle. And he didn't notice it until a keen-eyed viewer pointed it out in the comments. What the hell was that? Immediately after he hears a sound and nothing. turns the camera in that direction, a metal lampshade can be seen swinging oh, violently that? I thought it was as up. if someone or something had caused it. He claims it was quite windy that night, but how do you explain the lampshade moving when most of the windows are boarded up? True. Additionally, if you consider that it could be a shadow from a collapsing ceiling, observe how the lampshade moves faster than the light source. So, what could be going on here? While he might have missed this detail, what happened Subtle next was too significant to overlook. Okay. Oh, I've never been so scared. I've never been so scared. I'm getting out of it. I've had enough. <gasps> Fuck that. Fuck that. What? That was weird. That was really, really weird. Oh, what is it about this place? Oh, I hate this place, I really do. Just listen. No! No! <laughs> the red ball! Come play with us! God. No thanks! Uh, shit! That's like every horror movie where Throughout you fall. the entire exploration, he felt a constant sense of unease, with the memory of his previous encounter lingering heavily on his mind. When he saw an object roll across the hallway, yeah. he instinctively ran back to safety. Was this genuine poltergeist activity, or simply heightened paranoia? Share gave me thoughts. chills. Uh, gave me the chills. I don't know about you, but I got goosebumps. So, with that being said, comment down below what you guys thought. If you guys thought these were real, fake, fact, fiction, whatever have you, did you have to use your extra pair of pants? Let me know. Again, I thank you guys for watching my reaction towards the scary compilations, and we'll see you guys in the next video. So, keep it real, keep it safe, and as always, keep nerding on, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.